Hello everybody, it is I, RVA. Welcome to my channel. If I haven't already met you, then it's okay. You're here now. You are safe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That'd be great. And also, please check the links down below. There's lots going on. I can review your singing. I do Skype lessons. There's an album somewhere <laughs> that I wrote. And also, there's a free vocal daily blast if you guys want to get charged up for singing. Okay, so let's do this. That was a song called I Don't Know, which I wrote with Roger a couple of years ago. For a bloody fight. Here's one I wrote a long time ago. It's one of my favorite Deep Purple songs. It's called When a Blind Man Cries. <laughs> oh, like that progression. I like the fact that he's having a chat with his friends. I like this pianist. Rather long intro. Okay, that long intro, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait because <laughs> he has such a beautiful, expressive, very raw, very earthy, very raspy, very sexy, very honest kind of vocal with slight distortion as well. Let's keep going because this is six minutes and 36 seconds long. So let's um, continue. I, I, I'm stuttering. My name is Charles. Don't be ridiculous. Charles died 20 years ago. Must be a different Charles, I think. I was choosing not to watch because I just wanted to sort of be imposed by the vocal and not, because sometimes I get like, oh, look at the guitar and look at the pianist and look at the colors and yeah, yeah. I'm a blind man I'm a blind man And my words Oh, yes so good. That's so good When a blind man cries Wait, now he's doing some sort of agility work with his voice. Oh, basically, I think it was just descending down. Pure vow, right? And I love the fact he seems so comfortable with this song. And it's it's not so sort of over embellished at this moment in time. But let's let's keep going. It's sort of it's still sort of weaving in and out, and it's I can't even. I'm not even focused on the lyrics right now, and that is like a whole second entity. But my gosh, he is so full. This is so. This is so good. The the ah, uh, who composed this song? Who composed it? I'm loving it. Hang on, there's too much to talk about. Hey, hey, sanity. <laughs> nice.
Wait, I just want to say, I love the fact we've got these instrumentalist parts, which they're quite rare in music today, aren't they? It's kind of like three minutes, 30 seconds song. Yes. Anything over that? Four minutes max. We'll think about it. Okay, we'll get back to you. Not everything needs to be Bohemian Rhapsody, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Masterful pieces like that. But it's nice to allow the music itself to breathe, to allow the singing to breathe. Do you know what I mean? It gives it space and it gives it a different kind of appeal. It becomes a different kind of story, doesn't it? When, when you allow this kind of structure. I had a friend once. In the room. That kind of forward placement with his voice. He's manipulating somewhat. I feel like it's at a neutral kind of level on his larynx. Not too much manipulation. It's slightly, um, definitely going. I'm feeling like it's very bluesy, soulful, rock, almost punk sort of elements here, but I could be wrong. Joy, let me know in the comments down below, won't you, darlings? Of course. Had a good time. Usually, you, can I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Usually I hate those kind of like, hand, hand, I blah, blah. You know, that kind of like breathier onset. I don't know about hate, that's a strong word. I use it anyway. Uh, or if someone's doing it, her, and then throughout it's breathy. So you need a bit more chord closure. But because he sort of eliminates that pretty much straight away with his posterior cricord arytenoids, right? <laughs> I know, mouthful, huh? He has the ability to eliminate that straight away. Okay. In the Part of it's kind of like speak sing and there's not much length or legato in the lines, you know, in the sort of vocalizations, the the vowels there. It's kind of because it's so soulful and it's kind of like, you know what I mean? It's mainly chest mix register going on here at the moment. And it's sort of, it doesn't peak too high or too low. It's kind of sta staying stationary in that kind of position, which I find quite interesting. But sometimes it doesn't need, it's so lovely and nourishing just to hear that when a blind man it's kind of like he's using on purpose sort of like this sort of more chestier resonance that's going on it's very sexy look at that teach me <laughs> Not even looking. Here it is. Deserves what? Shush. When a blind man cries, love, Wait, I just noticed that last segment there. Last bit. The, the, the. Listen. No, I just thought because you hear that sort of that mix register. What a range, OMG. So he's gone 
until this sort of mix is sort of verging on head voice there. I love that so much. What I love about that is because he's combined two amazing things. So he's, he's doing the rage, which is like a scream. He's gone into scream and then he's not, he hasn't just like left it. Whatever. He's then gone, no! Oh! Oh! Can't remember. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed! No. Listen. Is that you know? You know! Oh! And he's brought so much space with that. Although I think he kind of came away from the mic so we couldn't really hear it. Listen again! No! No vibrato, straight. Dynamic, just. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. It was that I, it didn't need that at the end, did it? It didn't need it. It wasn't like, we're only going to be satisfied if he goes into a scream, he sustains it, and then he does a little bit of agility work whilst holding on to the phrase there. No, but it was like a, it was like a bonus point, you know? It was like he, he bought on bonus <laughs> to... His very much, I find it like an understated, up until that point, sort of performance, like, but it was everything. Sometimes for me, less is more. And you know, just cause you can do something doesn't mean people want to hear it all the time. You know, like belting all the time, belting all the time, belting all the time, belting all the time, belt, 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 I can belt. Yeah, great, well done. Sometimes less is more and it's nice that you can color and phrase things differently and sort of use your voice, like your instrument, in the way you want to sort of portray it, not what you think people will like. Does that make sense? So I really like him. He was, he's, he's a solid musician, solid guy. Oh, he's nice. Is he still singing? Ian, are you out there? Hello. Thank you so much for blessing us with your vocal extravaganza. All of a sudden, it felt, it felt like a firework just flew out of his mouth. I'm like, <laughs> I was slightly obsessed with that ending then. I just wanted to replay it and enjoy it. Because sometimes once isn't enough. You just need to keep, you know, when you hear something you really like. I just like doing that sometimes and then get obsessed with it until it's buried in my soul. He is extraordinary. Yes, well done. And thank you so much. I think my, my lovely Patreon requested this one. So thank you. So you can thank him, but thank me. Yeah. yeah, hashtag never stop singing. What range, what God almighty breath control he has. And I like the fact he has little stylistic toolings to go away. So he sort of like plants them in now and again. Keeps my ears happy. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, lots of love to you guys. Look after yourself. You are unique. You are wonderful. And you are whatever you want to be. It's your choice. It's up to you. Nobody else. If you want to sing, you got to sing. If you want to paint, paint. If you want to be a gardener, then be a gardener. Whatever. The choices are yours. Life is very, very short. I'm only going to say it once. Sorry, I've gone really heavy with you guys. But, do you know what I mean? It's like, the time is now. The time is now. Get your shit done. Get out there and do it. I love you. Bye.